while new at six, an animal management officer attacked by a pit bull mix. It nicked a vein and an artery, causing rapid blood loss. She radioed for help, and today she's telling Denver 7's Lance Hernandez about the one thing that saved her. The animal management officer was called out to this location on a report of two aggressive dogs chasing a UPS driver. When she arrived, one of the dogs went back into that enclosure there. The other dog, she said, challenged her. The dog came up and bit me on my wrist. The attack by this pit bull mix knocked Kelly Jellen off her feet. As she struggled to get back up, she noticed blood flowing out of a two inch gash on her wrist. The injury was pretty bad. It was, um, I could see my tendons. She says she had one focus. Survival, just to make sure that if he was going to come back and hit me, where I could protect myself and possibly get away from him. Jellen made it back to her van and radioed for help. Officer M. Goslin arrived, saw the blood loss, and immediately pulled out his tourniquet. He had been trained recently how to use it. Well, so you just pull here, and you can clamp it down to any size, and you get it real tight and you loop it around. Goslin says there's a twist apparatus he used to tighten the tourniquet until the blood flow stopped. This uh, incident kind of demonstrated to us that not only is it necessary for our officers to be trained in tourniquet use and some uh, immediate casualty type care, but there's also a need for some of the civilian positions within the police department to be trained in it as well. Thank you. Today, Jellen went back to the neighborhood to say thank you to a neighbor who witnessed the attack and stepped in to help. The owner of the dog has been charged with having a dog at large and harboring a vicious animal. The owner is due in court Monday. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7. So what should you do if a dog attacks? Well, Denver 7 got some tips for you from Animal Control, and we have them for you in this story on the DenverChannel.com.